She creates the universe. She is the supreme knowledge, the cause of final liberation. She is the sovereign of all lords. It is she who becomes a boon giver to all human beings. She is eternal, embodied as the universe. By her, all this is pervaded. She incarnates in many ways. She manifests in the world, but she is eternal. By you, this universe is born. By you, this world is created. By you, it is protected. You are in the form of the whole world. At the time of creation, you are the creative force. At the time of sustentation, you are the protective power. At the time of dissolution, you are the destructive force. You are the supreme knowledge and the great ignorance, the great intellect and contemplation, the great Devi and the great Asudi. You are the primordial cause of everything, bringing into force all the qualities. You are terrible and at the same time pleasing and exceedingly beautiful. You are the supreme Ishwari beyond everything else. Whatever exists, conscious or unconscious, whatever form that takes, it is yourself. You are the soul of everything. You have made all of us take our embodied forms. You are the dark night of dissolution and delusion. You are the goddess of good future, the ruler, modesty, intelligence, nourishment, contentment, and tranquility. You are the origin of all the worlds. You are Bhagavati, the Supreme Vidya. 
You are the soul of Sabda Brahman, the transcendental sound vibration. Salutation to the Mahadevi. Salutation to her who is the primordial cause and sustaining power. Salutation to her who is of the form of the moon, the moonlight and happiness itself. Salutation to Durga, who takes us across in difficulties. To her who is essence, the author of everything and knowledge of discrimination. Salutation to Devi who resides in all beings as consciousness. You are the intellect by which everything is comprehended. You are supreme. When called to mind, in a difficult moment, you remove all our fears. O oh, Debbie, may you protect the universe. 